Hello, my dear friends. I welcome you all to my daily dose. So I am myself, Dr. Rajesh Bhubha. I am a cardiologist, and I am also the mentor for teaching general medicine for exams like NEET PG, AIMS, PGI, and as well as JIPMA. So as a part of today's daily dose, the question is, which is the most efficacious treatment of mesial temporal lobe epilepsy syndrome? The options are amygdalo hippocampectomy, levetiracetam, trimidone, vagal nerve stimulation. So, if you take this particular question here, it is the mesial temporal lobe epilepsy. Mesial temporal lobe epilepsy is the one which is due to the hippocampal sclerosis. Right? It is due to hippocampal sclerosis. And let me tell you that this particular mesial temporal lobe epilepsy is the one this is one of the clinical condition which will cause refractory seizures and this particular refractory seizures does not respond to medical management right does not respond to the medical management so these particular individuals Whoever are having this particular hippocampal sclerosis causing medial temporal lobe epilepsy, they have to be treated with devices like vagal nerve stimulation. This is one of the modality of the treatment what you can do in these individuals. But what exactly is the definitive treatment? So if you take the definitive treatment in these individuals, you need to do the resection. Right? Resection of which particular structures? Resection of anteromedial temporal lobe or you need to do a limited removal of the hippocampus and amygdala which is nothing but your amygdalo hippocampectomy so amygdalo hippocampectomy it is the treatment of choice in patients with the mesial temporal lobe epilepsy and the other point is like in these individuals with the mesial temporal lobe epilepsy they'll have focal epilepsy because the abnormal neuronal discharge is from one particular focus and that particular focus has to be abolished right and that particular focus has to be abolished and for that like what you need to do is you need to identify that particular focus or lesion and you have to do what is called lesionectomy that is another definitive treatment in this particular patients with the medial temporal lobe epilepsy so going back to the question now which is the most efficacious most efficacious means the question is asking which is a definitive treatment for the mesial temporal lobe epilepsy the answer is your amygdalo hippocampectomy and these individuals they don't respond to the medical management so levetiracetam and primidone cannot be given vagal nerve stimulation can be given but that is not most efficacious treatment right the definitive treatment is lesionectomy or amygdalo hippocampectomy so going back to one more question a known case of generalized tonic-clonic seizures and he is on valproic acid for almost one year and he has been seizure free for last one year and recent EEG is normal and anti-epileptics should be the anti-epileptic withdrawal should be initiated within right within how many years of initiation is the question that means after starting anti-epileptic drugs after how many years you should start initiating the withdrawal let me tell you the answer to this particular question is the two years so within two years of initiation of the anti-epileptic drugs you can start the withdrawal but the individual should accept the following criteria now what is that criteria is See, it is reasonable to withdraw anti-epileptic drugs after two years of a patient who meets the following criteria. That is, complete medical control for one to five years. Or, if the individual is having single seizure type, like focal seizures or the generalized tonic-clonic seizures. And the other important definitive criteria is the individual should have normal urological examination then only you can start withdrawal of the drug after two years of initiation normal cognition and normal EEG so these are the criteria for initiating the withdrawal of the anti-epileptic drugs after two years of initiating these particular drugs so the answer to this particular question here is two years
right? So this is a short video on today's daily dose. So please follow us on the daily dose for the daily updates. Thank you very much.